Hi for everyone guys. Today I would like to talk to you about one topic. That's the topic which is um, whether I need to learn a foreign language or I need not to learn a foreign language. That's actually a topic that interests my friends so I would like to answer them uh, in this video and also answer those people who want to start to learn a foreign language. Try no, I will try not to make this video too long so let's start. Foreign language. Just sit down, take a paper, take a pencil, let's write down all pros and cons why to learn a foreign language and uh, wh what language may bring to you. Um, so look, try to understand. You want to learn this language just because you want it internally or because that's a person who is outside, who tries to influence, who tries to tell you that, well, I think that's a, the best opportunity for you. I think that, yes, well, unreasonably, but I decided I've decided this future for you I think that for a language you should learn it you know I've heard about this uh, children who has parents and uh, the parents try to tell them what to do so well that might be your option they want you to become a linguist probably there is a person who tells you with a reason and he is already a linguist he tells you yes yes I well I'm sure languages, they help me in my life, so they will definitely help you too. I love my job. I'm an interpreter, I'm a translator, I'm, well, negotiator. I go abroad, I do this, so with their experience they might influence you and you may feel that, well, languages, that may be something interesting, by the way. Do I want to become a translator or interpreter or negotiator or I want to learn uh, to, to work in an international organization? So you should think about that. Languages may bring you new work opportunities, that's true. So languages as a tool or languages as a principle, like tool, the base, the foundation. So for example, if you work in tourism, languages may help you. That might be your tool. That's not the principal thing in tourism, but however, it's a tool. Um, you might be either influenced by by media, mass media, by uh, social nets, you might be proposed different consultations, different courses, uh, like with the word pay for this application and start this course. So you might be influenced by that, and, but you don't understand whether it's yours or not. So, And the next thing you might be also, you might also look at the other person who is for example, your friend who is uh, very good at languages, polyglot, multilingual person, the best of the best and you feel inside that you want to be better than him or you want to learn foreign languages just to know them as better as he can or you want to because he motivates you and that's why you've decided that's your own desire that's why you've decided decided to learn a foreign language there are actually many other different reasons to learn a foreign language and what I want to tell you sit down write down why you need to learn a foreign language and then afterwards when you write all these thoughts try to feel what is inside of you what the feeling is that you have towards languages uh, my example a person might be a linguist, like 100% a linguistic person who is very good at socializing with other people, but one day he understands that there is a very good work opportunity in another country. He might get 1,000, 2,000 euros or 3,000 euros just for the job, which is, I don't know, IT, for example, okay? And he understands that he is a linguist and he wants to do IT just because it is well paid. He should understand that whether he will suffer doing this job which he will not like because it's quite another sphere another domain IT what is IT and what is linguistics yes computer language okay uh, language with people but he should understand what are pros and cons in this uh, specializations that he wants to do whether he will suffer or not or he does really want to change and to become another person so that's actually about languages languages it's like um, skiing it's like uh, playing the piano it's like drawing it's a sort of a um, capacity that a person um, may have maybe you don't have really this 
desire to learn a foreign language. Maybe you don't want it. But you push yourself just because of money. Really, you do want to quit your comfort zone just because of money. Or you will prefer to do the job linked with languages that will bring you joy, happiness, and money at the same time. So that's what I wanted to tell you. And the, just like to finish the video, because I see that it's already a bit long, um, languages, how to learn them. When I'm asked this question, how to learn the language, I always say, start from inside of you, understand whether you want it. And if the person tells me that, oh, I don't know, I just like start to learn the language, then I stop it, then I start again, then I stop it. I, I don't know why I cannot continually doing it. Then I have an idea in my head whether he does really need it or he just wants to suit someone or he wants to go with the time he wants just to be like others who also know English but maybe he can be perfect in something else maybe that's not a foreign language but maybe he can be very good at music or at computer sciences or it's something else why to learn a foreign language that well I don't know I don't know well maybe probably if someone tells me that these days everyone is like crazy about some film I will think twice and I will just tell me whether I want to watch this film just because people want it or just because I want it so I finished this video this short uh, blog video with uh, such words dig inside yourself try to understand what you heart wants what you want internally completely and from where this desire comes from you or from the outside thank you for being with me today and i will see you in the next video bye